part of ESAM, but we are seeing the Joss Marlu Marth. We didn't, yeah. we have not seen this yet. Tippers on deck. Yarhar, Métis. He's doing his at best FLAO impression. <laughs> For sure, man. Remember when FLAO played Marth quite a bit. Yeah. Back in, back in the day. Oh, you might be dead. Smashville no, platform. Not just yet. He's caught his jump, though, that time. He knew where he was going to go. He just wasn't able to get every hit of the uh, multi-hits in between Pikachu's up, uh, in between Pikachu's forward air right there. He got that last one. It definitely would have spelled it. Down's yeah, back, and not catching, it yet, though. Is catching the neutral gallops. It's no, already known Josh Marlin's habits. All right, I was just about to say. I was just about to say Esam didn't get hit yet. But finally landing a down air for his troubles right there is Joss Marlu. But the oppression session is definitely not over on the part of one of the top seeds of this tournament, Esam. Narrowly getting him. But what was originally the poor man Fox's up smash right there, running up and doing it. Esam looking poised right now, as expected, Reggie. Yeah, and Esam already calling out the jumps. Because knowing a lot of players do like to jump out of disadvantage or jump in neutral. Just do and Pikachu's dominant for for there. I'm That's just watching. Thing. I'm watching Impressive, man. I'm sorry. Continue. Yeah, no. It was that T joke that just canceled out one of Marf's like tipper moves. That just felt really sad, man. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. not seen a single moment in this game so far where Esam has not been pressing one of his attack buttons. Right there might have been the closest thing to it. Getting the spike of the thundercloud right there yeah. on the way up. This is. I mean, we all know what Pikachu is capable of in this game. He is a contender for best in the game, as some people say, for a reason. Marth, of course, is not. The oppression session is out oh. here in full force, knowing to thunder on the recovery on the way back right there. And now he's already got him in the back air loops. Oh, my God. Pikachu, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this match is just avoided right there. The F-tilt sealing that stock. But two stocks down. That gets really hard, man. That's Pikachu for sure. You know how much insurance a character like Pikachu can get? Unless Joss Marlu is able to land a tipper smash attack right here, because that will kill the rat at this percent. You know he's going to be searching for that real quick, especially the side bees. I knew it. I knew that was what was we were going to be seeing right there towards the end. Waiting patiently in between the third and final hit right there to get that spacing perfectly on par for the tippers. That is huge mark stuff in this game, knowing how to time that side B to make sure... Man, you were able to get the tipper, I've but we seen, don't have techs. I've commentated Esam a few times today, and he's gotten so much mileage from just back airing people off stage like that, and that missing the tech. You got to be prepared for that when you're playing against oh. Pikachu. That intercepted Marth's up B too, man. It's like he was already he didn't get caught before he was caught before his recovery. He let's, was let's recovering. See, let's see this one more time. Check it out. He up he's on the way up. But before he works around the hitbox, jump double okay, jumps yeah. to intercept it. That's what happened. He got caught out of his recovery move. That's the crazy part about it right there. It's not like Pikachu just stopped him from doing that beforehand. He just was yeah. literally knew exactly where he was gonna go and pancaked himself around the hitbox. Yeah, he got caught right before the iframes. Mm -hmm. Or maybe at the ending of the iframes for Mars Up B. And now we're seeing Diddy call. Diddy Kang. Oh, I was gonna say he yeah. got hit before he was able to pull a banana. Not yeah. a good sign. Not a city's good sign, not, Reggie. Yeah, this city's not using a lot of banana. There we had an attempt at one, but he sounds already just applying so much pressure. Now you're just stuck in the corner getting the jabs. It's got the one button pressure out here, the Pikachu jabs. That's something Pikachu has been doing since the great game of Melee, my friend. Yeah. That single hit jab that he's famous for. No. Not as much as in that game as in this one, but still prominent nonetheless. For sure. Especially, you know, with the best Pikachu in the business, Esam, you all know it. I mean, you, you, with the exception of Axe, you know, from Melee, they're only th he's the player that you think of when you think of Pikachu for sure. And Esam, not caring about, like, the Brawltimate bracket right here, saying, I'm going to use what was my Brawl main. No Brawl exclusive characters, nothing. <laughs> Sticking to the list, though. Dash Attack and a kill Diddy Kong off the top. Yeah, that's like surprisingly a really strong move. People wouldn't expect it. This is just like, it looks like Pikachu just flopping there. Just 
Ooh. Okay, there's another. Oh, another string? God. Yeah. Oh, okay, makes it back. That That's the crazy not... thing. Yeah, I was not sure if he was dead. Yeah, I, I was honestly a little confused myself. I mean, Pikachu is that up smash takes the stock. Part of what makes that character amazing is that even if he doesn't just combo you off the side with the back airs or spike you with the thunder or the down air, whatever, the fact that he's able to just choose, pick and choose if he wants to land the final hitbox of moves like back air or just use them to sort of just Drano sink your opponent right there so you can land a down air. The fact that Pikachu could just pretty much choose to do whichever whenever he wants is part of what makes him a top tier character in this game, to say the least. Along with tech chases like this with dash attack. Esam whipping out the oppression session for sure right now, Reggie. Yeah, no, he definitely is. Oh. On the chase down right here, trying to catch him doing normal get up. Not going for a third one in a row like I thought Esam was going to do. But yeah. there you go. Thunder Jolt Taking up the stock smash. right there. Thunder Jolt up smash. Reminiscent of like a Mario, you know, he's basically got Fireball with that move going at a 45 degree angle. Plus he's got the smash, uh, the smash attack frame data to be able to cover that as well. Yeah, Pikachu's just yellow Mario, man. He kind of is. I'm not going to lie. He does a lot of what Mario does, but just a little bit better as well on top of being able to pancake and being small. And I'm loving Esam just picking and choosing his moments in neutral when to approach right here. Out oh. of disadvantage, he almost gets hit for it right there. But he's been yeah. so disciplined in knowing when to really turn on his aggression and when not to. Even though it seems like most of the time he is turning it on. That's because he knows like when he can. He's just doing such a good job picking and choosing his moments and knowing not when to press another button against Diddy Kong. Paying real good attention to Joss Marlowe's positioning. Yeah, no. He definitely is playing good attention. And Josh Marlowe now bringing it down to the final stock. That dash grab. He's catching him. So Josh Marlowe will finally take his first lead. Yeah, he's still at 98 right there and jump. Mm, no, that would have been a re-grab anyway, my friend. Double jumping. Dropping ledge, double jump into the loving, clutching, thunderstruck defibrillator arms of Pikachu. Getting hit by the forward smash off of the side right there. The, he just, he got a little nervous and disadvantaged right there. Let's take a look at this again. How he was able to pluck himself down. Dropping ledge is not always the best decision. Let's take a look at this again. Boom. Yeah. Wop. Wop. You know, he was nervous too, because he was at almost 100%, right? So he knew that if he hung on ledge a little longer, that that forward smash probably would have actually stuck its way down and hit him. Maybe that's what he was trying to avoid right there. Couldn't roll, because he might have gotten hit by the back hitbox of it too, you know? Yeah, no. It definitely is a tough situation to be in. Yeah. 